Hi. As the readers of my blog know, I made my first hat a little while ago. For that hat, I used some stiff interfacing as I didn't have any proper millinery materials in hand. However, I really would like to try making hats out of buckram. Buckram is basically a stiffened linen that can be used to create structure and stiffness. It can also be molded by moisturing it. Unfortunately, I didn't find any Finnish shops carrying it and I didn't want to order it abroad. But then I realized that I could learn how to make buckram. I found a handy video made by Bernie and Trowbridge explaining the basic method and that was all I needed to start experimenting. The most traditional stiffener for buckram is gum tragigan. I didn't find it locally, but there is another very similar product called gum xanthane that works the same way. That one I could buy from the baking aisle of my nearest grocery store. I already had linen scraps from old projects, so I had everything I needed. Xanthane that I bought came as a powder that only needed to be mixed with water. For my first experience, I didn't take any accurate measurements. I didn't have any recipe for this. I just poured some in and it's making this kind of glue-like mixture. And this is actually looking pretty good. It just has these kind of uh, clumps. I'm trying to get rid of it. I used an old paintbrush to spread the mixture evenly on the linen. I found the xanthe mixture easy to spread. Once I had done the first side, I turned the whole fabric over. and treated the second side the same way. Then I could just hang my background to dry. I wanted to try different fabrics, so I took this other scrap from my bicycle skirt and treated it the same way. Today is the next day and my buckram was drying overnight. I took it indoors late at night because it was a bit moist outside and it was almost dry. And this morning it was completely dry and I ironed it out. Um, here are the results. <laughs> so um, it's a little bit different. This is uh, the denser linen and it is a little bit softer. You can see that it has some structure but it is like a stiff interfacing so i wouldn't use this for for a hat because it's it's very very soft and it doesn't have enough structure to keep its shape and i think it's because it is so dense so that the something solution doesn't really uh, go between the fibers to stiffen them enough this other thing, this darker colored linen, this is much better. You can see how stiff it is. It is not, it is not as stiff as after my seen online, but you can see how it wants to stay straight. It doesn't drape like the other one. I could almost make it stand on its own like this see so I think it's because this is less dense and also the fabric is a little bit thicker as well I don't know if adding another layer 
of tanzine would help this has quite a lot of it and actually i can see some little like blobs of tanzine on it but as this is going to be inside between the fabric layers it doesn't matter but if i wanted to make a background hat i would better make a solution that is that doesn't have any lumps perhaps i could use a sieve or something to get rid of those lumpy bits or perhaps if i used a uh, fork or some kind of whisk when i added that suntane it would be easier but i think this is looking really promising i would really like to try with linen that is almost um, how could i say it it's even even less dense than this so that it would be almost completely see-through so i could basically saturate it with something and i think using that kind of fabric i would be able to make a really good background that would be completely stiff but i think this worked really well this is really easy it doesn't make a much mess because everything is basically food and everything can be washed away with water it doesn't smell so after you're done you can just put everything in the dishwasher and go done with the cleaning up the only thing is of course this is water soluble so you cannot make uh, hats that will last in a heavy rain but well many hats are like that and i think even if you buy buckram you will not get something that can last in a heavy rain of course you could try to use some kind of plastic glue but then this was more of a historical experiment so i'm not going to use glue unless it's something that could have been used in the 19th century but yeah it was an interesting experiment i still am interested in trying this gum track again i know where to get it but it will take a while for me to get it so that would be an experiment i will do later and i also want to experiment with other types of linen. Right now I have this piece that is not enough to make a hat. So I will either need to make more of this or I will need to get more linen. And I think I'm going with the second option because I will want to see if I could make this into a stiffer fabric. So I have 500 milliliters of this water. And I have no idea how much it is for. Let's try with one teaspoon first. I could get it thicker if I put it there. That's right. There was a lot of mixing involved, so let's fast forward a little. And this is what the finished mixture looks like. It's like this thick goo which can be spread quite easily this white linen is a bit less dense than the linen i used before and i think this will make really nice buckram i did this other one indoors because it started raining and here they are now drying out. I used all the goo mixture I made. 
after two days these are dry it took surprisingly long for them to dry but I think it's because I left them on the balcony to dry and I didn't take them indoors these are much stiffer than my previous attempt of making buckram this one is thicker this one has a little bit more grape although it's still pretty pretty stiff you can see these little blobs of plantain that were due to me not using a sieve to get rid of them well if I use this as an interface they don't matter that much although I think in the future I'm going to get rid of them but this is actually really handy. I started thinking of what to do with this buckram and you could make bags and like use it as a fabric basket and of course you can make hats or just use it for like crafts. You could make three-dimensional objects out of this. So it would be quite interesting to try what kind of things you do with this. If you want to compare these, so with this, I use three teaspoonfuls of um, tantain powder for a half a liter of water, and I spread this mixture on the both sides of this like linen fabric. So it created pretty thick fabric. This is the previous one, which I think it sort of corresponds to two teaspoonfuls of powder to a half liter, at least the mixture was quite similar in structure and it is, it still has body, it's quite stiff but it's not as stiff like if I hold it like this, it, it's keeping its shape but if I do it like this, it drapes but like with this, this is much, it feels stiffer and this is the thinnest one and it actually it feels like a normal stiffener fabric, so it's it has structure, but I wouldn't use it for like bags or hat making because it doesn't have enough strength to hold its shape. It might be really interesting uh, material to use if you would want to, you know, try some weird geometrical designs. But of course, it's not waterproof, so you can't wash it. So you'd better be aware of that. I'm pretty happy and I haven't decided what to do with this. <laughs> this would make a really nice basket, I just think, because it's it holds its shape so well. I could just sew on the bottom <laughs> and, and just turn the edges down and it would be a really nice storage basket. But right now I'm mostly interested in hat making and I think I could use either this or this white one. Even with all these blobs, I could use this to make hats. By the way, I forgot to say, I've already ironed this. And uh, before ironing, they were quite crumbled looking, but ironing really made a huge difference. And now they look, now they look much better. Besides the blobs and all the stuff that we brushed on it. Here are all the backgrounds I made. Thank you for watching. Bye.